Would it be a good night to go see those lights at the Commons or really any of those locations? Later this evening, you'll be just fine. In fact, it's going to be on the mild side, too. So if you're a fan of all the holiday lights and all the displays, but not so much the cold, tonight actually not be a bad night to do it. Yeah. Which right. will be great. But you'll, like, probably barely make it before some of the not-so-great weather for yeah, light. Yeah, we do have some rain <laughs> yeah. on the way for tomorrow. So 24 hours from now, it's going to be that pitter-patter of rain and even starting to get windy for the second half of the weekend. Mm. But the good news for today is just in time for the big game. Beautiful weather this year. I know for the last game in November of the regular season, we all know how tricky the forecast can be or the weather in general can be for Ohio State versus that team up north. But today... We are going to have great home game weather for the first time in four years. Can you believe we haven't even had the game at home since that long? But here we are. Let's head out a little bit to the east, though. Licking County, Heath and Newark looking pretty nice this morning. A little bit of cloud and some light fog in the distance, so some spots might even have a little bit of light fog. But overall, it's a clear sky this morning. That means cool temperatures. Most of us starting off right around freezing, if not a little bit below that. And we are dry for now. We're going to be dry most of today. But look what's going on down in Texas. Some moderate to heavy rain stretching all the way from the Gulf of Mexico through Houston and Dallas. That is what's coming our way tomorrow. It looks far away, but it's going to only take about a day to get here. And we will have a rainy and windy Sunday. More on that in just a second, but let's enjoy the crisp fall air for right now. 29 here in the city, 27 out in London and Delaware and Marion 2. Logan at 24, Zanesville 28 degrees. Here's the big forecast. This is what many of us are wanting to know. Chilly out there for tailgaters. Warm up still at about 39 degrees between 9 and 10 o'clock. Kickoff at 52 degrees. Mid game 54. Final score. Hopefully the Buckeyes bringing us a home win this year. 55 degrees. Sunshine throughout the game, but becoming partly cloudy by the time many of us are heading home. So let's break it down hour by hour. Here's 7 a.m. We're still clear and cold. By game time, nearly the 50. So we're starting to warm up at that point. Mid 50s through the afternoon. Here's 5 o'clock. And then overnight, heading into our Sunday morning, that's when that rain starts to come back our way. And we're looking at steady rain throughout the day. Here's 7 a.m. on Sunday. Moderate rain at times. So again, we'll hear that on the roof. And then we start to have that wind factor in it as well as we head into the afternoon. Here's noon, mid to even upper 50s. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 60 in some of our southern zones on Sunday. But for the rest of us, mid 50s, blustery, 10 to 20 mile per hour wind with gusts up to 40 at times. That'll be rare, but we could we could feel that wind howling out there. We start to dry out closer to the evening. Now, how much could we see? Well, we're looking at about an inch of rain about across the area. We haven't had a whole lot of rain this fall, so this rain will be much needed, but we could have a couple pockets of maybe uh, an inch and a half to two. And again, this is a speedy low pressure system coming at us from the Texas area right now. Then we dry out for Monday and Tuesday, high pressure taking over, and another round of rain and wind on Wednesday as we get back into the mid 50s during the middle of the week. Cold front pushes through, and then by the time we get to Thursday, which is the first day of December, 39 degrees. So we'll enjoy the warmth before we get there. 55 today, 57 tomorrow, 47 Monday. Right back up into the 50s again Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, 39 degrees on December 1st. But after that, we kind of trend back upwards again. Mid 40s, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 51 on Monday with a chance of showers about 10 days from now.